Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, a show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will be showing you how to replace a bad coil. You will need a soldering gun and a few tools for this tutorial, so grab your tools and let's get going. Open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. Now remove the pinballs from the machine and completely raise the playfield. Here is a picture of the coil that we will be replacing today. Remember to take a few pictures so you know which terminals to connect the wires to along with the orientation of the diode. When soldering on my pinball machine, I like to set my iron to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. With a little solder on the tip of your iron, remove the two wires from the coil terminals. Use your magnetic nut driver and remove the coil mounting bracket from the bottom of the playfield. Be sure to put the screws in a magnetic nut bowl for safekeeping. For the coil mounting bracket, use your nut driver and a screwdriver to remove the two screws holding the coil end bracket in place. Set the hardware aside and then remove the coil from the bracket. Before mounting the new coil to the bracket, check to make sure the coil sleeve is facing the right direction. For this one, I wanted the lip of the coil sleeve to be facing the coil stop. Now line up the coil end bracket as well. Use your nut driver and screwdriver to reinstall the coil end bracket. Make sure the coil sleeve is poking through the coil end bracket. Now we need to add the diode to the coil. Here you can see the stripe on the diode is facing the terminal on the left. This is how you want to install the new diode on the new coil. Go ahead and feed the diode wire into the bottom holes on the coil terminals. You want the diode to be centered between the two terminals. I find that it helps to bend one side, remove it, bend the other side, and then reinstall it. Use a pair of needle nose pliers and feed the diode wires through the holes in the terminal post and then pull through any excess so it is snug. Before soldering the diode wire in place, be sure to double check the orientation of the diode on the coil. With a little solder on your iron, go ahead and solder the diode wires to the terminals. Make sure you have enough solder on to form a good bond. We will also be using these terminals to mount the wires from the pinball machine. Using your magnetic nut driver, reinstall the mounting bracket with the new coil attached. Make sure to install any plungers and springs as necessary. After you install the screws, double check the plunger mechanism to make sure it can move freely. With a little solder on the tip of your iron, reattach the first wire to the new coil. Use the picture you took earlier as reference so you can mount the wires properly. Now do this for the other wire as well. If you need to, add some additional solder to the terminals. You want to make sure you have a good bond between the wires and the terminals. Once you have a good connection, use some wire cutters and snip off the excess diode wire. With the new coil installed, go ahead and completely lower the playfield. Now turn on the pinball machine and use the coin door buttons to navigate to the coil test menu. Don't forget to pull the white plug inside the coin door that allows high voltage to flow to the coils with the coin door open. Here you can see that every time I trigger the switch for the slings, the coil fires as it should. If everything looks good, install the pinballs, install the playfield glass, reinstall the lockdown bar, and close the coin door. Be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.